Hello. She's already here. Hello. Royal Housewives of Clapham. Babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked at myself and I thought, I mean... What the hell wait, is this? Can I tell you something though? Yes. I'm going for a celeb. Oh my God, you look famous. Yeah. You look like a Royal House. They, may, they must start a series based around you. <laughs> Paparazzi, don't contact me. Don't wow. bother me. Wow. I'm very excited about whatever is in that box. Right, babe, there will be no cookies today. There will be no nothing. Do you know how much cake there is? This is like a quarter of what's left. Babe, babe you're wild. I've got teaspoons. Stop it. And the free brownies. There will be no purchasing of any <laughs> sweet treats. <laughs> oh, I'm over the moon. Are you? Because you I... wanted the brownies out. Well, that's all your crap from the other day. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that yeah, now. well done. This cake, oh, I'm so excited to eat it at room temp. It's better. Yeah, no, I know. It I had me. it last night. Right, move your... Oh. 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 This is yours. Thanks. And your earrings are in there too. What earrings? Oh, I didn't even remember. The earrings those. I stole. What the hell? Sorry, should we open these? Why the hell does it say Merry Christmas? We got them free because they made too many Christmas brownies and they're giving them out for free rather than throwing them away. Imagine waking up when we're at Wilderness, babe, and you wake oh, up in the morning so good. and you go for your morning coffee at so the Festi good. and you wear that. So good. And everyone looks at you like, she's amazing. I do love it. I am just opening these for a little sniff, really, yeah, yeah, more yeah, than of anything. <gasps> oh, hold on. Oh, they're flavoured! Babe! Babe! Oh, sod the oh, cake! Yeah, forget that. Look at this! Right, so it's classic chocolate, gingerbread biscoff, salted caramel, black forest. They made all of these extras and no one even wanted them. Crazy. Who wouldn't want one of those? Crazy. So yeah, well, Do you want to get a drink first? I think I need to drink something like a matcha. You need like a tea or, or a... a juice. Like I need okay. to get well. No, guys, you know when you she's have that She's not feeling. She's she's on the cusp. I'm on the cusp and I can stop myself. Like I literally... <laughs> no, no, no. I've got the power. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Okay, this professional. I love yeah, it. Sorry, <laughs> I've got a filming at two, business meeting at four. We're going to two different events. Do you know what? I'm actually wild. Yeah, I love it when we do that though. It's <laughs> really do. good. Really and good. she even told me, and I was like, well, I've decided I'm wearing the. Um, yeah, of course. As wavy. you should. But I've got baggy jeans on, and I haven't washed these in about five years. <sighs> Are these the ones you cut yourself? Yeah. These jeans have been through a lifetime of pain with me because I used to, back in the day, when I was three stone heavier, wear them high waisted. Wear these as a high waisted jean. Now I wear them as a low baggy, but they were too long, so I had to cut them. No, bottom. I think that's really nice. I think that you should keep them forever. And yeah, ever. I think good memories, you know, good times were had in them. When you get pregnant as well, you can like use them as a high waisted jean. Yeah, they'll again. be high waisted again. Oh my God, guys, my friend Sabrina. Oh my see. God. Okay, we've got I so met much to Sabrina. Tell you. No, we've got so no, much to tell you. This is Did all. Do you want? a drink first <laughs> I could do this and then go for a drink I could do the birthday recap okay I've got it in me I've got the energy rack it up then right so this is all the fallout from Ali Mac's birthday meal sorry I'd like to stop you there no swearing guys our last episode it's is really disgusting. bad it's disgusting right, we must really try pasta in the jar yeah the pasta needs to be back and get strict. So this is the fallout of Ali Mac's birthday dinner. It was hilarious. So we had a really busy day on Friday because we went to a premiere, which we will tell you about. So we'd been rushing around and both of us, so Al had an absolute nightmare. She'd ordered this dress oh, and it didn't come. Or was it broken? No, and no, no. I ordered, okay, I ordered this dress, this pink dress that I was like desperate to wear. It comes. Raw was like, I can't even zip it up. And you know what? I, can't, I had to kind of take his word for it because I can't do it no, all myself. No, you texted me and you were like, Raw's lying. He can't get the dress up. No, because when I tell you when that I was on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, and then on Friday, I said, just put it on one more time because my other second backup dress hadn't arrived. And I was like, just try it. What are we to do? Right. He puts it on and honestly, it was an inch away. And I texted him and I was like, can He's you lying. help me? Raw's a lying little scumbag. He said it doesn't zip up. It does. I'm an inch away. You should have seen us. My God. So I'm all for like, you know, false fitting. Like, I just think, great. One night of the year, get yourself stitched in. <laughs> my skin was buckled. Do you well know what I mean? <laughs> Raw was like, babe, your skin is folding. He wasn't wrong. And I was having a breakdown like, ah, you're not being helpful. In my defence. Yeah, it wasn't helpful to comment on your folding skin. Do you know what I mean? It's like, do something about it. Why are you just standing there like a lemon? Unfold my skin. Well, also, because that's so funny. I'm like in a zip up, like half ready, steaming that's a dress. So Al's got chaos. folded skin. Raw's being shouted <laughs> at because he's got the wrong blue Shoot. shirt on <laughs> and the wrong jeans. Yeah. He had his work jeans on and that wasn't allowed. Ali Mac had an absolute field day about that. It was a nightmare. You should have seen. I honestly wish that we'd just stuck a camera on the wall. Yeah, because the throttle was throttle. 
playing it was, it was yeah. intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then we all had to make up. And she's so funny because she's like, guys, do you think it's so funny that X Y Z something totally random? And I'm like, it's really lovely, but like, I'm not in the mood. And then, oh, and then I was so angry, and she was like, babe, can you just take it down to an A? And Raw went chill out, and I was like, I will decapitate you both in one full swoop. And then she goes, Raw, can you just hear how G says it, how you say it? Like, it's a little better coming from G. If you tell me to chill out one more time, she was like, I think it's the delivery that you need. Yeah. <laughs> so Raw, I'm like, she's like there about to blow like a volcano that we're all afraid of. And I'm like, just turning around the corners, we're all like, oh, I think oh, it's the it's way just... you deliver. I think it's your tone. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, shut up. And I was like, shut up. And I'm like, hood, oh, hood. I'm a fruit loop. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, eventually we we got her in this dress. It was fine. No, it was fine. I and wore we the back up one. The back up dress was really nice. And you looked amazing. Because yeah, yeah, nice. also you've got a tan and it was white. We were a bit worried it was a bit engagement vibes. And then Raw was like, who knows the night's young? And I thought, Imagine. Imagine. It would be quite genius. I was thinking about it, but like all your favourite people were there. No, I would not like to do it in a room full of people. I'd yeah, like to do fine. it just me and him. Just yeah, like, no, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm the biggest person for being centre of attention, but like that is one moment in your life I think it should just be you. And, and also him. you don't want to be performative. No. Like you want to be able to no. just like... Be you. Yeah. yeah. Be, be real. He would never be able to do it. No, because what would he say? No, he He'd have to crack a joke if he did it in front of people and you don't want that. Of this. I'm worried about our wedding. I don't think he's going to be able to stand up there and profess his love for me. He can't do it in front of people. He will be able to. Uh, well, he'll, be he'll under... write it down. That's what you need to do. Oh, so at Rachel's wedding last summer, they had both both obviously written their vows before and sent them to the lady. She then printed them out and just handed them to yeah, them. Yeah, that's better. So you probably almost forget what you've written yeah. and then when you say it, it's so like lovely and yeah. heartfelt yeah. and just gorgeous. He'll do it. Anyway, by the way, why have you not put a post up in that dress? It looked amazing. I know, I couldn't quite find the pair. Oh, really? But I thought I've got one for a dump. So fine. later down yeah, the line, fine. it'll appear fine. in a dump. Fine, Also, fine, fine. I like that one of me and you. I could maybe put that one no, up. No, I like, gonna... I flim flammed it. Can I tell you, I blurred out the background. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because it did look a bit like we were in like a dusty something or other. And we weren't, we were in a very nice... The food, babe, was amazing. What, you mean this? Did you eat enough? Yeah. Look, I've blurred the background. Oh, yeah. You love to make us look like porcelain dolls. We look like Bratz dolls. I don't think that's true, actually. Do you want to see, do you want to see the original? <laughs> yeah, show me the original with my bags under my eyes. Oh, yeah, the bags have got to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How I think, funny is that? Babe, I think wrong? that you, like, you don't give yourself enough credit because that's the unfiltered version. And we do still look like porcelain dolls. Ten ten. I told you. You do it often. Don't know what to say with my little pecs. I know. So I anyway, there, so I know this story. Yeah, so we get there. Everyone's in good spirits and we were doing the... It was actually really funny because they were a bit disorganised, weren't they? They weren't quite ready for us. So then we had to like write out the name places, oh, like make the table. Well. Oh, and they were all spelt wrong. My friend Gigi, her name was Greg. Greg. Harry, and there was another Harry, one. It was Hamlet. Hamlet. <laughs> Then everyone started turning up and it was just so nice. Like, so funny, isn't it? Because you rarely meet, we say this all the time, but like making friends when you're older, I must clean my glasses because I can't actually see a thing. Making friends when you're older is actually quite rare. So then to like come into your space and meet, like, because also you yeah. had a lot of people there. 19, it should have been 20 and I could have had more. And they're all your real friends. They're all my real friends. Like Millie and Stephen weren't there. Oh yeah, true. There were, lots, there were probably about six or seven more people that she I could not have. not have that many friends. <sighs> You're just a good time gal. And also you've got like a blended friendship group yeah, with Raw. Raw. Yeah, that is true. We were having this debate about how they're basically Raw's friends. But Ali's like hijacked to them. Not true. And like we wonder what's going to happen if they ever break up. Do you know what I mean? If we ever broke up, that okay. wouldn't be sad. I reckon. Mm. Who would you lose? Go on. Collateral. From that night, the only people I think I would lose would be Woz. Yeah. Because that is his best mate. Yeah, you can't have Woz. Other than that, I think they're all still How be. tall do we think Woz is? Because I found that comment really funny. Oh. So basically, I had these heels on, which are offensive. I'm about six foot two in them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, six yeah, one, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Woz, I went to hug him because I've heard so much about him and I went to hug him and he was like, I'm sorry, those heels should be illegal. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like inches taller than him. <laughs> You were like he was on your waist. I know. Hilarious. I always think your dating pool is so much smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really selfish. Sorry, girls, but if you're below five five and you're still going for men that are six six, it's not right. I selfish. Selfish. Very selfish. Think about all the short kings and think about the tall girls who now can't wear their six inch heels because they're less with the five eighters. Do you know I what I mean? Breeze on your arm. You've been hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do better. Do better. <laughs> anyway, everyone was obsessed with her. Guys, you know when you go. To to an event like that and you don't no, know anyone. An know. event, I'm calling it an event. Okay. 
you go to a friend's birthday and you don't know anyone. You get a bit nervous about the seating plan. I didn't even see her. I got very lucky with the seating plan. I, knew. I made. I've stolen Harriet. I know. I think she, I'd like her to be mine now. No problem. She's I yourself. really like her. She was just. You take her off my hands. So no I've cool. had her for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I was really into her. And then she was just being so cool. You know, I actually had a bit of a girl crush on her. Because then at the end of dinner, she just started <laughs> rolling a blem, and I was like, I think I'm in love with you. I don't really know what to do about it. And then I had Jack, famous Jack, on my other side. Right. We told him off because he was late. It's so late. So I'll naughty. Watch this. And I'm just gonna say, I know that you came from work, but like everyone's got a job. We've all got jobs, Jack. <laughs> we all work in production, no, Jack. And then he dropped it on me. He was like, Oh, but I'm meeting Liam Hemsworth on Monday. And I'm like, Do you think that's a trump card? Because like, it, yeah, it kind of is. No, but... it's a trump card. Liam's more important. No, than us. I was a bit worried about you. I, no, I don't know why because like, I know that you could talk to anyone in the world. But she was out there mingling and pringling. I was mingling. I was with schoolgirls. Sabrina was telling us about her pregnancy. Sabrina texted me the day after, being like, Oh my god, I love Joe. I want to have coffee with you guys. And everyone's like, After. Then we went to the little orange door, and then actually, which, by the way, made me feel a hundred and five. I don't want to be there anymore. No, no we can't, can't go again. That. Or you've got to be blackout drunk. Yes. Like, so you can't. Because the music's see... silly. It's funny. Yeah. A good. But yeah. 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 It was. It was for convenience. And in an ideal world, we'd have been somewhere else. Because totally. honestly, the clientele, I thought, I feel like a I, babysitter. No, I can't do that. Anymore. Yeah. It was just not good. No. She left a bit earlier than every. Like she left. I don't know. Like an hour I had earlier. To teach two and I'm not joking, babe. You walked out the door, and everyone was like, "Swarm to me." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, I love her. Oh my god, she's so great. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she's so great. Oh my god, I can see why you guys got on so well. Oh my god, she's the best. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god." <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Oh my gosh, I did so try quite hard. Yeah, well, it so worked. So that well was good. Done. So, pound well that for me. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Did work. Great, good. Success then, I'd say. Like, oh my gosh, she's so great. Oh my god, you guys are so lucky to have each other. Oh my god. So, what's all happening with you guys? Oh my god, did you guys actually see each other every single Like, so many things. And I was like, uh, yeah, she's fine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was loving it as well because I never have anyone else to like talk about Al with. And I was like, it's hilarious. Yeah, like, that is when they true, all like weird. say things about you. And I'm like, oh my god, I know. I yeah. say that all the time. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just I loving think it. my friends rip into me more than your friends rip into you. Oh, 100%. And it is, I find it hilarious. Well, because also you've got like, they all like know each other. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Whereas I've got so many like pockets. different pockets of yeah. friends that it just depends who I'm with. I'm really glad you had fun because I was worried. I yeah. It's that thing when you walk into a room of 20 people I you don't know. Know. I know. It's a lot. No, Could but it was great. Crash, also, really the nice. food was so good and I'm it was just really lovely. Really I was just having a lot of good times, really. Good. I'm really it was pleased. great. Same crew at Ascot, so you best get ready for round two. I don't know about Ascot, babe. Oh, really? I'm a Cheltenham Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, fine. It's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. Like, the royal enclosure really scares me. I just right. think, can I it's do it? It's just so funny. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's like so silly. Like, everyone's. Like, I like the races. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like a picnic and the booze. Everyone looks like dumb because they're like so dressed yeah, up. Yeah, like, what would I even wear? You just wear like a dress and a hat, babe. Do you know what? Maybe we yeah. should get in touch with what's her name? Your girly, Jade Holland Cooper. See if she'll dress us. Right. I'd go if I could wear one of those long coats. Babe, it's in the middle of June. I don't think you're gonna. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Oh. Well, the boys wear tails. Yeah, they do wear tails and a top hat. You should see them. I bet Raw's so tall with his top hat. I bet he loves it. One yeah. day of the year. Yeah, they're taller than me. I know. Really so good. good. And he's got a little heel on, has he? So good. I said to him, we should get those things that Tom Cruise puts in his shoes. I was taller than him. No, you were, but you're so like long and gorgeous and I love I, I love don't it. Mind, like you know I when think you think about minds. Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas. Yeah, and like even Sophie Habu and Jamie. Yeah, and on the red carpet no, I'm like epic. It, it doesn't looks bother so me. Good. It doesn't bother me at all. It, but bothers, I think it bothers him. him. Yeah. I don't mind it one bit because I know when I take my heels. Well he off. did say to me those heels are ridiculous. <laughs> Because it obviously made him feel about 5'5". Five, five. Also, all of his friends are tall. That's the other problem. It's like, Yeah, you, Thompson and Bompson, they yeah, were they're tall. All of, yeah, they're all tall. Really tall, it's actually. problematic, actually, if you've got tall friends and you're short. Think about was. He was. And Cosmo. What a name. So good. I know, and it's really annoying because I'd like to name my son that, but now I just can't because it's Cosmo. I, I think a girl could be Cosmo. Oh, I like that. Do you not like think? That. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. I like the name. You know it is a boy name, but maybe it could be a girl name. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think so. I like Cosmo. Also, it just sounds so Cosmo. Do you think Cosmo sounds really posh? Are you mad? I mean, like, I don't know any other Cosmos. Babe, so. the only place you would hear anyone say Cosmo is in Waitrose. Cosmo! <laughs> Cosmo! <laughs> We're going to the baked goods aisle now. Cosmo.
What did you want to say about Sabrina? How Just that she's are. gonna have a baby! Like, my actual friend for 16 years is actually gonna birth a child out of her nerd. Like, what is that? That is mental. I haven't got that really in my life. That's it crazy. It is really. No, I'm so excited because it will be like this one child that I can just shout all my baby love on. Yeah. And I think it'll be good for me too. Sorry, I know that you're doing this for yourself, Sabrina, but I think thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for taking one for the team. Yeah, because I think it's what I need in my life. Because everyone does say, like, you love your friends' babies more than you could ever imagine. Yeah, I bet. Oh. Poor girl though, she has been so sick. So, so, so sick. sick. Like four or five times a day. And then I'm thinking, are you gonna wanna do it again? And Bertie was like, yeah, she wants four or five. After one round of that, I'd be like, I'm really sorry. I'm just no, gonna no, have no, to do it. No, 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 they Italian. say you forget because you give birth. It's like the pain. Your body like protects you from yeah, the pain yeah, yeah, so, so you, you can do, can it, do it again. again. Also, you just rack yourself up, don't you? You're just like, I know. It's like a hangover. Like, you know you're going to feel Babe, rubbish. I'm sorry. It's a bit worse than a goddamn okay, hangover. Okay, it's worse, but does it stop you drinking the a hangover? The aftermath. No. Mm, so that's true. So does morning sickness stop you having babies? No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but babe, it's not morning sickness. It's all day sickness for six months. No, it's never just the morning, I know. And also, by the way, it doesn't stop when you give birth. Then you've got a whole postpartum to deal with and all of that stuff. Oh, I would just get pregnant again. Like, I'd never, I wouldn't even snatch back no, until, like, I'm too. done. No, listen. Okay, talking to my mum about this and I was like I think that our game plan has to just be when you have a baby I have to have a baby let's yeah. just get it everyone could be pregnant also then we could roll out the pregnancy documentaries then we could like share a nanny you know like share cars sure. just ferry them back and forth to school doesn't really matter actually no I don't believe in nannies well, having been one how are you gonna do that and work babe I'm just gonna have to have it like strapped to me or have a house husband right yeah house husband is a better option yeah but if you can't have a house husband unfortunately the nanny is the second best option can't I just go to nursery and socialize with other children yeah but yes but they can't do that six times. <laughs> <laughs> no we had a baby room at my nursery oh I just think it's nicer to have a nanny than yeah I think it is the, uh, can I tell you what I don't like about nannies the kids love them too much I'm, I'm putting a fucking light no but you're it's definitely me. I don't mind if my nanny's I'm much my worse than my you. nanny's more than me. I don't mind that, it's fine. I had a nanny growing up though. Like she No, but you had an older lady. Yeah, I did. No, that's what I want. Though. Okay, fine. No, that's what I can want. Can we can we get I a Spanish person? I want so them... that our kids can be bilingual. Yeah, sure. Or I was thinking like I wanted them to speak Chinese. Yeah, as you should. Why yeah. don't you learn yeah, I know, it? I know. No, I want to have an older lady. I'm not having someone like you. Yeah, no, exactly. I want like her to be like I'm my little girl. Like, my <laughs> mum as well. She needs to look after me and the children. Think about Katie Price. God forbid. What? When she came and the nanny was shagging no, her husband in the bath. That's just never gonna happen. Not with our law. No, right. And but God forbid my choice in men. So we're also know. picking a six-year-old lady to nanny our children. So yeah, I like problem. it. I mean, unless it's yeah. a fetish for older women. Yeah, like, or like a gay guy. Yeah, but might you know, be nice. Yeah, yeah. But I just think it doesn't really matter. You know which baby sleeps where. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, it can be communal. Just, fine. Sorry, just talking about documentaries actually. Live outward. Yeah, and you ignored me. So rude. But because I was watching the trailer. Because you were. Babe, it gave me that. Sorry, I haven't had this from a show in a really long time when it gives you tingles all over your body. It was epic when Paul was getting voted out. I Everyone else. Well, because I was nervous because I thought, oh, has he done it one too early? Because you know they were still a bit on jazz. Yeah. So I was so nervous for Harry. I was like, oh my god, is he I thought too so soon? And then it would be so. But then awful. it was fine. Have you seen how famous Diane is? Actually, I know she's got more followers than us combined. I know, <laughs> and she's literally just posting memes about herself. She's iconic. She's iconic. She's too good. Sorry, back to live out with just very briefly, and I know this is a controversial topic of conversation. Go on. Her new documentary series. I actually don't know how new it is, but I only just saw it on ITV. It's brand new. The, it's just the price out. of perfection. Yeah, it's literally just come I've out. watched three episodes. Actually, I had to stop in the middle of the third because it was actually making me feel unwell. Wait, why? A, it's like, do you remember back in the day when they used to be like 10 years younger and they'd fully show you the surgery? In the face episode, you'd fully see someone's face like peeled back oh. and getting pinned. What, for a facelift? Yes. It's wild. And the boob job. Oh my god, there's you like really see her nipple. This woman's nipple is just on its own island. It looks like an iceberg, and all her flesh is around it, and he literally moves the boob. It's wild. So you actually see all the procedure? Yes, babe, she's in the room, Liv, with the patient. Oh, wow. She was talking about some of it, and she was talking about lip filler, and she was like, I just think some things you need to wait for. There was this girl getting it done at 16. Yeah, and I even much. think 18 is too young. Like I just think there needs to be like Regulation, there's no regulation of it at all. Some things you need to live with for long enough. Well, like even being able to get a boob job at 18, yeah, like I there's agree. something beautiful about like- So your boobs grow. They grow, 18. they change. And like, yeah. also what you want, like Liv was saying about her first boob job, she went way too big. She went so big that she ended up stretching her own natural nipple because her implant was way too big. Where do you stop? There's so much now you can do, like all these girls getting filler in their ass, fat drained from their stomachs, boobs, lips. 
nose, oh. jaw, everything. This one girl, this OnlyFans girl, was getting her asshole bleached, not even just the hair, the colour of her asshole, the skin. Yeah, no, I know that is what anal bleaching is. Oh, I thought it was just the hair. No, no, no. You bleach the skin because everyone's got a brown bum hole. Or purple, like purpley pink. Yeah, mine's brown. But. Because you're brown. Of course, yeah. But. That's what anal bleaching is. I know she's an OnlyFans, but I've never even bent over in the mirror and looked at my oh, arsehole. But I maybe know. now I do care about the I colour know. of my arsehole because everyone else does. It's like, okay, well, maybe I do care about my lips. Maybe I do care about having filler in my cheek or like whatever. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. These days you can take, it's like a day training course and you're licensed to well, inject. Well, this is another thing. Like this influencer girl, like it was so bad. So she was going to get her ass filled and oh, she lived oh, like her that? before and was like, how does it work with this woman? She was like, yeah, like she. She just gives it to me for free and I post. A, she's posting to like really young girls and there's no safeguarding on that. Like girls can just follow her and be like, oh, she got her ass done, I want my ass done. This woman is obviously a nurse. So she's not even like, you know, like dentists or doctors, like they do it or sometimes. Or like dermatologists or no, estheticians. she's a nurse and she's obviously just done the no, like, I just it's just, it's, really it just, just like it's really wild that you don't even look into like, what is that filler? Do you know? Cause I don't fucking know. Sorry. Oh my God. No, but also like, how can you trust that the person you're injecting actually knows the anatomy of your face or your body or your bum or like also bbls are the most like most people die from bbl yeah. like, because cosmetics lose because it's like your main artery or vein yes. that runs through your bum yes if they're literally a millimeter yeah. out you will well, die this guy who was doing it was having to use this like ultrasound you saw him drain the fat directly from her stomach and then literally just start pumping it into her bum really yeah what does it look like like just yellow fat yeah does it look weird when it comes out yes. of her stomach then what does the stomach look like just kind of to be honest, like she didn't look like snatch, like it wasn't like. It looks saggy because your skin is like. Yeah, still you there. don't get like what you yeah, get from like the bizarre. gym or training it's... or like just being healthy. I get it, like I get that we're in a world where we look at ourselves a lot and where it's all readily available, but it just really scares me. I think it's that thing of like having to weigh. It scares me that there's no regulation on like how old, like 18 is too young. Yeah, because I think if I had the resources, like if my parents would have paid or I never even spoke to them about it, but if oh, I had. There were girls at my school who were getting nose jobs at 16. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, do you yeah, know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Because oh, yeah. it's been such a big thing and I just think, oh, it's so difficult. You can actually destroy your whole face. Yeah. There are so many of those Geordie Shaw girls, I'm really sorry to say this, like Marnie, mm. who was so beautiful mm. when she was younger, in my opinion, has ruined her face a bit But now. also, didn't Marnie have that horrible thing where she got those balls like, like stuck in her lips? Yeah. And you can't drain them because yeah. they've basically gone into the wrong part. This bit of your lip, you obviously can't inject into. And when people do it wrong, they inject into here and then the balls stay yeah and you can't dissolve yeah, yeah, it yeah it's the same with like the veneers like every man and his wife and his dog is getting veneers fair in. play to Olivia Atwood she's a legend because she literally meets this guy who does this crazy oh my god I haven't even told you about the cupid have you heard about this no. the cupid lip it's this like procedure which is like instead of just getting your lip filled they fully like fill your lip and then they cut they make an incision you're oh, awake lip flip I know this but it's not even like a Botox lip flip it's like genuinely like he cuts it and, and then, then they pull it up puts it yeah. into your nose so you can't see any scarring Everyone said that Kim Kardashian had that. The Kardashians are responsible for a lot of yeah, our yeah, 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 yeah. issues, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like, sadly, they are. Also, they're all changing their minds now. Like, also, style guys, changes. Their bums aren't as big anymore. Have you seen their faces unfiltered? They look like clowns. Like, just so tight. I'm sorry. And also, Kylie Jenner is a really good example. How old is she? 24, 25? Mm. She looks 40. Do you think? Because of all the filler. It's yeah. not right to have that Although much filler. she's had hers dissolved, thank God. Babe, I'm telling you now. I saw this one photo of her and I thought, oh my God, you've completely destroyed your face because she's so gorgeous because you're young and your face is still growing and still changing she goes to see this surgeon and she's talking about like the lips and she goes go on like what what did you first think when you saw me and he said the and lips are too big no he said the veneers they're too big too white yeah <laughs> and like the veneers is he the liked her lips the, she's the, had hers dissolved yeah hers are smaller now. she said she used yeah. she, she obviously went like full duck lip after love island no but the veneers is another thing like they shave your actual teeth to literal stumps have you seen the videos i don't want to it's, i do know what it is no, and like they only last 10 years so if you're getting that done at 25 you're gonna have to do same that. with the tits you've got to go again yeah, I, know, I know i know 25 35 what are you gonna do you've still got 70 years of your life left to live with stumps for teeth there was this amazing sorry, woman it's... that got her boobs redone post three kids and i thought yeah as you should you're in your mid 40s oh, and you've decided 
to get your boobs lifted from here to here. Yeah. Her nipple was having to be moved up 10 centimetres. That's how much her boobs had dropped. Oh, wow. It's no, coming from I, all of us. I would do that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But then we sound like old, boring, I know better, but I just think like... Because I really take the stance of like, look, if it really makes you happy and it's something that bothers you every time you look at yourself, yeah. every time, not just like, oh, it's kind of annoying or like, oh... Or I actually just want to be like Like her. everyone else. Like it's not actually your insecure... Because I think that's what it is with I me. I'm not insecure about, say, my lips, but the amount of people, people I see totally. and I want it, then I'm just like, oh, well, I kind of want my lips done. It might make me look better. That's so different than having an insecurity. Also, sorry, I do think, I know My that... chubby boobs. No, if I... I decide to get them done, that's yeah. different. I've thought about that since I was 14. But this is the whole argument, isn't it? It's like, okay, well, what's the difference between your nails, your hair extensions, your fake tan? Like, your all Botox. of it is just, yeah, it's, it's just you want to be careful. I think it has to come from what really will serve you. Yeah. Not what everyone else is doing. Just because all the Love Islanders have big lips doesn't mean you need big lips. Exactly. Because they all have big tits. Personally, I think big tits are gonna go out of fashion. I think they're already mm. kind of out. Well, apparently natural looking boob jobs are coming because although they've changed the shape of silicon, like, you know, you can get those implants now that are teardrop rather than the round yeah, ones. Yeah, because it looks fake. Yeah. You look like you've got balloons stuck to your chest. But then you have got fake tits, so why not just have fake tits? I'm well, with okay, because if I had really, like, if I had smaller boobs mm. and I really wasn't happy with the sides, but I didn't mind the shape, mm. then I wouldn't want people necessarily yeah. to think. You've got huge fake yeah. tits, yeah. It's wild. It's, it's wild. Just, it made me feel really funny watching it because I just especially like this sounds so wanky but I do feel like conscious of the fact that young girls watch us yeah I feel really conscious of it and I just think there's a lot of influencers out there that oh, totally promote a lot of things that maybe in the real world don't matter so much and I think that's it is that like when you work in this industry the only people you have to compare to yourself to are other people who have done everything else and I'm mm. not saying that it's an excuse but it does explain why everyone because if you're yeah. the only person in a lineup of a cast who mm. hasn't had their, you'll feel like, oh my god, I look like out of shape. That's wrong. But I'm just saying, like, if everyone watching this takes their life in their own context of their surrounding circle, look around you guys. No one's had any work done. Mm. You know, it's just that all we see is influencers yeah. and not real people. Yeah. You know, and it's like I just don't like the fact that people are pretending like it's natural because it's just not. Yeah. And if you're looking at someone thinking, oh my god, they're so natural. Like, why are the Kardashians so? Shady. Because they can be big because they're so famous and they don't have anyone to hold them to account. I but mean, it's, it's horrible because yeah. it's like you're the top. Like yeah, actually yeah. I think they're the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Like they oh, yeah. Oh yeah. The thing is, it's not new. Like society has always been obsessed with how they look. We were talking about this at Christmas. From the beginning of time, people were trying to change how they look. Cleopatra was putting makeup on. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like Elizabeth the First was like poisoning herself with lead every day mm -hmm. to put makeup on. It's not it's nothing new. Yeah. It's just that it's now so much more so exciting. Accessible. accessible you can't escape it you no. can't go on your phone and see 10 pictures of people in a row with no work done it just mm. doesn't exist no. makes you think as well like when you have one right to god i have a daughter not just sons you're um, such a boy mom you look like a boy mom right now oh but i just need to have one girl Come you're on. gonna be like that family that has four boys and, and the then the fifth is the girl because you have to keep going i've said that to him if we have four boys you best believe we will. i will go and genetically modify that embryo to make sure <laughs> that girl comes out my vagina i swear to god babe having four boys you basically have resigned yourself to not having anyone to look after you in your old age <laughs> no i'm sorry that's not true they all desert their mothers and i don't like to make sweeping statements but no that it's is actually not the truth Babe. It depends on the girlfriends they get. Yeah, but that's a risk. That is way, <laughs> that's not a good risk to reward ratio. Also, not all boys are the same. Hashtag not all men. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of boys out there. You might get a lovely gay son or a trans son. Oh, I'd or, like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, might, you might get all of it. Is this from last week? Yeah. It's, babe, it's just water. No, I know. I'm just wondering because you haven't charged it yet. It was meant to do me wonders. I'm actually feeling quite good. Although I had a bad day yesterday. Why? Right. Okay, wanna talk about it? I think I was just alone for the first time in a long time and I like missed Colin, so I sobbed. And then I was over it. That's good though. It was like a poo. It was like a poo. That's good. It was so weird. It was like nothing even happened. Normally I'm triggered by like something. Although maybe it was Friday. Yeah, it could have been. I think it would have been, babe. And I just think, think he was really on my mind. Yeah. yeah, I just suddenly like have this wave of like, I'm gonna drive to his house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank God it's so far away, because otherwise I probably would have done yeah, in that what state. A blessing. What a blessing. And you'd have got halfway there and it used to be two and a half hours away. And I, I, I wouldn't have bothered because like <laughs> you'd just be like, well, I'll never make it. <laughs> what do I do when I got there? He's got a girl round on a Saturday morning. Do babe, you know what I mean? no, no, listen. Number one, doesn't matter what he's doing. He's mm. probably not doing anything anyway, mm -hmm. apart from his left hand or right hand, whichever one he prefers. And number two, <laughs> 
<laughs> him and me both. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we but just missed him so much. Yeah. Oh, babe. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Just... Then I felt okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then I wrote that sad poem that I put on Instagram, yeah. and then I was fine. Oh, but from this morning? Yeah. I knew, and it, your caption was hilarious, like, if you're thinking about taking up smoking again, and I thought, it's so obvious. No, I said first, if you're thinking about texting him. Them. <sighs> they, them. Oh, babe. I know. You when does it end? Really miss him. That might yeah. not go away for a while. I know. Just like someone to talk to and tell stuff to. I think it's even like more than that. I think it's like, I just love love and I really miss being in love with him. Yeah. And like being with him. I don't know if this is a helpful thing to say, babe, but when you have that, it's really easy to look back through the rose tinted glasses. I know. I know, obviously, it's an emotional thing to feel like I miss being loved and feeling like I love someone, but then like all the other stuff. Yeah, well, exactly. Know. But that's what stops those feelings now lasting like a week. Yeah. It is just like a shower. You don't really have time anymore to feel it no. all for a week. No, I'm in April showers now. Okay, that's good. So you know when you're out and about and you get caught in the rain and you think, oh, oh! piss it, I don't have a brolly. Yeah. It's one of them. Yeah. And then you, you get undercover, it stops raining and you move on. Okay, that's good. You're right about the busy. I'm back in that as well, actually. So many cyclical stages. I'm back in like needing to be busy. That wave came when I was just suddenly doing alone. Doing nothing. Yeah, and doing nothing. Does. When you're sitting at home on a Sunday afternoon, people just burst into tears. Yeah, and it does happen. Because you're just finally overwhelmed at one by with yourself. Yeah. Everything nah. hits you like a ton of bricks. Well, especially when you're not like setting aside time. As in like normally, I'm quite good at being like, okay, hey, I know there's that thing on my mind, so I should probably sit down and like think about that and deal with how I'm going to deal with it. Whereas because I'm so like not wanting to go there, I'm just like, no, 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 busy, busy, busy. Yeah. And we are busy, and so that's, that's okay nice. okay for it to sometimes come around and yeah. hit you in the face. I think so. Yeah. Really? How are you? Fine. I, um... I'm fine. I was home alone last night. I know, how was it? I actually had the best time ever. Apart, babe, you forget. Apart, You're good at it. Apart from, babe. This has never happened when Moore's been, ever been at home. Power cut. No! Like, honestly, total pitch black. I didn't know that happened in London. I, I honestly didn't. I was watching TV and I thought, oh my God, I'm actually going to get burgled and robbed and murdered. No! And to death. Where's your fuse box? In your flat or in hey, the it corridor? It was off for three minutes and I literally just sat there, like frozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take me. Okay, take me now. Listening for the sounds, honestly, it was pitch black. And then the light, the broken light, the one that makes the noise all mm. the time, flickering on, off, on, no! off. Honestly, for Freaky. five minutes, Freaky on, deaky. off, on, off. And I was like, I'm, I'm, someone's, someone's coming to get me! <laughs> <laughs> Rang Raw, his mate picked up. Hi, babe, how are you? And I was like, that's a power cut. I need to speak to Raw. Raw was so pissed. He was like, it's fine. It'll come back on. Power cuts happen all the time. And I was like, it's never happened when you're in the house. Yeah, What's when happening? and why? Then, they know I'm alone. Anyway, then it did come, obviously. Your head goes there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, well, there's a gang of people. They've I watched know. me come in alone. They've watched Raw leave. I know. And they're going to turn. They've seen his car. They've cut a wire somewhere. Sorry, and, they're gonna gonna and they're going to come in and they're going to gangbang me and take all my stuff and I'm going to die. And then I was thinking like, okay, what would I give them first? My laptop? And like, no, my laptop's got all of our content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Will I just be able to transfer it? To the, to the floppy disk. I don't disc. even know what I would give them. Like, my TV is probably... The, the TVs in that house are probably yeah, the most expensive things. Yeah, you could the TVs. Things. Knock yourself out, boys. It'll Guys, take three of you. And you're going to need a mechanical screwdriver. They are bolted to the wall with iron screws. Like, it's not going to happen, but, you know, take your time. I was thinking I've got no jewellery to give you. Nothing. I've got... You could take my passport. I'm going to need a new one anyway. I don't know what passport <laughs> would be useful for. I've Human got, trafficking. I've probably got a bit of cash that they could have. But anyway, you survived to tell the tale, thank God. Yeah, here I am. Anyway, then I watched Fool Me Once with Michelle Keegan. Have you seen this? It's number one on Netflix. It's Have you seen it? I've uh, finished it. I watched it. Did you see and I everyone like, doing the impressions of her? No. I'm Hannah Stern and my husband is dead. Lily, stay there. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> I'm going to find. I'm out of still. Like, okay, and then I was like, I'm gonna have a really wholesome night. I was knackered. I was hey, like, a bit scary to watch that alone. Mm. I know. And then there was that one bit where she's Lily gets stolen from her bed, and I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be me in ten minutes. Because you really think he's a baddie, don't you? That's all really weird. I but, had to stop. Oh, because you got scared. Because yeah, like, I can't. Babe, it's so good. You must finish it. It's so the good. The twists and turns. It's like a roller coaster. I love it. Joanna Lumley. So oh, so good. I woke up this morning, babe. My phone wasn't on my bedside table and I was like someone's been in my house uh, honestly <laughs> babe no, no, why'd you left it on the sofa no you should have seen me babe I've never ever jumped out of my bed so quick stop I woke up because I had set an alarm to go to work this morning sure and I just woke 
up and I thought, shit, I've missed my alarm. I looked at my bedside table and it wasn't there. And I literally, babe, I turned I, the bathroom light, I took all the towels off the door, Panic. all the everything under the sheet, took the sheet off the bed. And I was like, oh my God, I know I put it there. Someone's take, someone's been in my house. <laughs> anyway, it just fallen down the crack between the bed and the <laughs> Sure. But you do have those moments. No, you have those moments and it's very yeah, when panicky that man and your body goes like that. Boom. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, well, he's going to be there. And your turns on. Yeah. And yeah. you think, I'm going to be face to face yeah. with a robber and yeah. he's going to literally handcuff me and shoot me in the face. Yeah. Sorry, should we talk about Trigger Point? Sorry. It was. Okay. Oh I my God. I haven't watched the first season, but I don't even think it's that necessary. You to don't need to. haven't seen it. I have. Wow. We were invited by ITV and we just want to say, ITV, we love you. We will slightly date. I'd honestly get on my hands and knees and like, I'd do a pedicure. I do. Oh, babe, I do more. I do their Brazilian wax. Oh yeah, I, I'd bleach your anus. <laughs> your anal. I would do your back, so I can crack, yeah, anal bleaching, yeah. whatever you need. I'd really massage, need. Yeah. I'd feed you grapes. Yeah, see. I'd probably give you my liver or my kidney, whatever oh, you need. Oh my God, I'd do a blood transfusion. I give blood all the time anyway, <laughs> happily. Take my blood. Sure. Got a special blood. Oh, I'd surrogate your children for Oh you. yeah. Duh. Yeah, I'd sell my soul, really. Basically, yeah. yeah to, to, to be a part of ITV. To be on ITV. Basically. Um, so just remember that when you're looking for God, we're talent. such fame hungry Whores. I love it. Anyway, we got invited by ITV to the screening, of the first episode, the premiere of Trigger Point season two. Which comes out on the 28th. 9 p.m. ITV one, January 28th. It's one of those programs that needs to be on Gogglebox. You are sat no, on the edge of your seat. I didn't know what to expect. It surpassed every single expectation that you can have of a show. You go in thinking, oh, I'll give this a go. Honestly, you will be hooked 20 minutes in. Yeah, oh 10. yeah. And also like the Met Bomb Squad, EOD, I believe they're called. What? Sorry, we've got to find out what that stands for. That is so bad. I think it's explosives of defense, but that it's can't not. be right. What I really should know does that. EOD stand for? Okay, give it your best shot. Don't look it up. Give it your best shot. What is it? Explosive ordnance disposal. Oh, yeah, it's disposal. Of course it is. Ordnance. Ordnance is like an ordnance survey. God, I don't know. I think Sorry, they should Colin. have just called them like bomb disposal experts. <laughs> yeah. BDE. BDE, I, mean? I like it. BDSM, anyway, baby. We walked in and there were five of these. Yeah, they're all there because they have them on set so they're all their lingo and like the way that they defuse bombs is correct it's just epic it's about a terror threat in london so and nice. it's like it's so fast paced vicky mcclure is just so epic She's and sexy so and everything you want I like a strong woman lead to be oh she my god she is so good it's actually. gruesome though isn't it no it's and brutal. also like you know what i hate about those kinds of shows is when you can anticipate the next move and uh, that is the one thing that you could not every i really didn't know what every was gonna and turn you were like <gasps> we were like <gasps> yeah and we were like ah! yeah no it was it was a lot i can't wait no i know i'm so excited to and watch i'm the whole so series. happy that we're one ep one nap ahead yes i might binge haven't thought about anything else but vicky mcclure i know anyway it was really really fun and we've got really that like fun funny people, like, I know. and we met lovely mel who we should shout out from dopamine studios and from itv who's who we a love lady and she's like basically she was changed epic. the game yeah. on the whole of influencer talent coordination with broadcasters like she's epic it was epic the grapefruit juice was really fresh. I know! What was that? <laughs> what did they put in that grapefruit I juice? Have to say, Soho Hotel oat milk latte wasn't the best. You didn't like it, did you? Babe, Mine think, was good, my coffee. I think it was off. I think that oat milk was off. And I know you're going to say oat milk can't go off, but it can. No, I think it can. Do you want to know an interesting fact? It's just normally like it's got years on it. Do you want to know what the only food in the whole entire world that can't go off is? Oh, fun. They found this food from ancient Egypt and it's still not off. <laughs> no. Swear to God. Dates. Honey. Sure. Honey never goes off. You could eat honey from 3,000 years ago and it would still be good to eat. Probably quite good for you. Yeah. We must start taking the local honey what for hay fever honey this season. Sorry. We need to find someone with a bee heaping. I don't think anyone around here has bees. Are you high? I might start keeping bees then. Roy's mum wants to do that. Maybe I'm there's just... a gap in the market. No, but listen, you're, you're going to be unpopular with your neighbours. Everyone's going to get stung all the time. No, no, no. They're pets. They don't sting. They're not wild. I just chat such shit. Would you do it? Would you walk into a hive of bees? In a suit? With yes. No suit? You know, some people do that. Because they love their bees so much. Yeah, and they think they're at Bees don't bees. sting. Unless, unless you unless aggravate them. Yeah, you sit on them or babe, something. if you were covered in like five million bees, I think we, their chances of you being stung by at least one. You know, some people die from bee stings. Yes, like in Bridgerton. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be getting an allergy. Got my new best friend Harriet. Can you believe her nut allergy? Can I tell you when she's never had? She hasn't had that. It's all COVID, her life. babe. I know. Post COVID. No, and I thought she got a nut allergy. I know, no, like, and it's so so severe in her nut allergy. And when she first told us, we were like, "Haha, lol, jokes." She was like, "No, no, I've it's had." It's quite like, serious. Yeah. She's never had it. I didn't know you could do. I didn't know quite that you crazy. could do that. Crazy. Crazy, baby. Right, let's get a tea. I think. 
Anything else you want to say about Trigger Point? Vicky McClure, the seat's always open. She's so sexy. I've got a bit of a girl crush on her. Especially with her short hair. She made yeah. me want to cut all my but hair I think off. in real life she's got long hair, but I think she has. you're rocking a bob. It's not even a bob. It's, like it's a, a full lady like dye. It's a buzz cut, yeah. yeah. It's a grade two. It's a military grade two. You know, she's meant to be in the military. Do you think you could do it? Be in the military? Yeah. I was thinking that when no, I was No, having dated it. someone who was in the military, no, I could not. I think I could do the ones that sit on the horses outside Buckingham Palace. You could do that. I reckon I it's no joke being a woman in the military. It's Definitely like a man's world for sure. Yeah, and like there are no concessions made for you, absolutely. Whatsoever. No, but also having understood it, I kind of get why there aren't. Oh, a hundred percent. Because you just like, can't. Like in a war zone, what are you going to do? Make separate toilets? Like you just really can't. But also, like imagine having your period and like. Yeah, and you've just got to get over it. Yeah. yeah. But that's why there aren't that many women in the military. I can't express how much respect I have for the ones that are. Yeah. Because I just think, God, you're actually so badass, and we're all here complaining about X, Y, or Z, and our periods, yeah. and we can't do. And hashtag this girl can. You yeah. just get on with it. Yeah, it's wild. Unbelievable. Yeah. On that note, let's, let's get a matcha. A matcha. <laughs> a matcha. A matcha. I like that Joe and the Juice give you such enormous matchas. I know. It's very matcha. As they should, babe. Do you know, know how much those things cost? And what brownie are you going to have? No, I'm going to have cake. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Get your spoon out. <laughs> I might need both then, because oh, now I'm like... jealous. Ah. So good. Wow. Better now, isn't it? Mm. Told you they shouldn't have put it in the fridge. I said that to Raw, but he was panicking that it was going to melt. <sighs> Well, he knows everything. He really thinks he knows. Oh, yeah. He oh. really thinks he's like Big Boss Raw, but we're in charge. You have to let him believe he's in charge. I'm um, wrong. Yeah, that's the trick with him. Gigi was like, how does Raw feel about that he's inherited another girlfriend? And I was like, yeah, I don't think he's had much say in it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, Raw could hate it. me and he couldn't really do anything about it. Raw hates us. You should have seen him. No, he, he, he hates us. us. <laughs> he hates <laughs> us. He will like remove himself away from us. What were you going to tell me about your blood? He's a really good sport. I know. And one thing I'll say about Raw. And to be fair to me, he doesn't really complain. No. Ever. Never. No. Thank God. He might be complaining inside, but that's mm. fine. Yeah, he could do with telling his face, actually. <laughs> 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 Joking, I'll be. Also, sorry, I'm always on his side. So you can't hate me. Of all the people you don't have to defend him to, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do blood tests and a swab. I'm like, ah, oh, a swab. Cervical swab. I was not told about the swab. Like a smear test. Yeah, the full shebang, the full MOT. Apparently for an STI, I was like, yeah, rub it in. I haven't been shagging, so that'll be a <laughs> miracle. Um, <laughs> all this Call stuff. The Mary. I would be the Chlamydia Mary <laughs> if I managed to get an STI in the last six no, months. What a miracle! Miraculous. Go Colin on. and I would be having words. I'll tell you that for free because there's only one place that is coming from. Hey, no, babe. Oh yeah, six months. You're still not in the clear. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I never did like a test when I was with him because why would you? Babe, you know, trust. That happened to someone I know. She Gives me a, shivers. She got a test. No. Positive chlamydia. The only person she could have got it from was her boyfriend of three years. Had been shagging. Sod off. And that's how she found out her boyfriend was cheating on her. Can you imagine? And not only have you got chlamydia, but you've also got a cheating scumbag boyfriend. Disgusting. You can't even take an antibiotic for a boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? God, this is good. There's nothing more uncomfortable. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm uncomfortable getting a wax or whatever. But someone fully going, oh, this might be a bit cold, and putting a bloody clamp up your vagina Sorry. and then swabbing the around. If you think that's bad, babe, just you wait. They stuck a ruler up. There. I don't they ever ruined, want anything up my ass they, like that. Not my ass, babe. My coil's not in my ass. Oh, I've had a coil. Oh. I thought you said a colonoscopy. Oh, I've had that too. Oh, so they put their no. whole hand up my ass, babe. Oh, I've had a coil in and out. Have you? Mm. What kind? Copper coil. Oh, that is a death sentence. It's, it nearly killed me. Your pee's not so heavy. Yeah, so basically, my natural state is horrendous because of PCOS. PMDD, like, to the max. PMDD. Like, so... Pre-menstrual dysphoria disorder. disorder. What's dysphoria? Makes you mental. <laughs> I think I have that. I think you probably do. No, you want the pill, aren't you? I have the, babe, are you just, you've asked me, you ask me this every month. But well, you've got the coil. Babe. <laughs> I don't even know. What have you got? I've got the coil. I've had the coil for two years. And you like it, don't you? I think I need to just have get you the coil. Got, I actually think you know. I think you need to I've go got to amnesia. the Yeah, I think you need to go to the memory doctor. It's not right. <laughs> there are so many things I tell you that you just either you're like raw. I'm like either you are thick. Hello, memory doctor. <laughs> Hello. Is that the memory doctor? Hi. I've been losing my memory, memory doctor. I'm wondering if I could come. And speak to you about my memory. No, I'm thinking with you both. Are you actually thick in the head and not one brain cell to rub together? Or you're just not listening to me when I'm talking to you? It's you in... say so much. We can't listen to it all. You say so many words. You literally tell me every thought no, you have the other day. day. <laughs> <laughs> I know every single thought you have thought. 
Okay, I'll give you that. It is like off and word vomit. Yeah, so if the coils yeah. just filtered in, like sprinkled Babe, sorry, in. Sorry, okay, I think you need to go through the paragraphs and highlight the important stuff. Because mm. that was quite an important thing. Yeah, I need to bookmark. And also. <laughs> <laughs> That's got tons of the memory doctor. <laughs> well, memory doctor, I'm booking for myself and Rory Wyatt. <laughs> Because <laughs> our girlfriend talks too much and we can't remember it all. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Real talk, I don't think you've ever told me about your coil journey. I so. will actually <laughs> shove this cake in your face. Have you? We've had, babe, I, sorry. Am I, <laughs> am I Is it filmed? Am if it's I, not filmed, I don't remember it. <laughs> yes, babe. Yeah. And I said I almost died on the operating table and you were like, babe, it's a lunchtime procedure. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bite me up here! Yeah, girl. you're right, you're right, Bite Daddy! Me up. I'm going crazy. She's right, just right. a little snaky witch. I'm going through a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so done. I'm in. I. <laughs> Why have you got such a strong slap? You're like my cousin Steph. People with skinny wrists Babe. aren't to be trusted. Everyone thinks I'm weak. I actually reckon <coughs> if I punched you in the face, you'd be knocked out. I would with those knuckles. Yeah. You'd probably draw blood. Oh, yeah. I got my coil in, babe, mm. and I honestly thought I was going to die. They, Surrender. They put a ruler up my nun, and it touched the- A ruler? Yeah, like a measuring ruler. To measure your cervix, because I've got the small one. I've got the Kylina. Because I've got such a tiny cervix. Yeah, I do. And I'm going to have a real <laughs> problem giving birth naturally. I'm not joking. I'm oh, already preparing I'll myself for a C-section. For you if you want. Yeah, could you? Babe, you're a C-section kind of gal, I think. Everyone in my family's had a C-section because we're all too small to get it out. <laughs> Our hips are too small. It's actually a real big problem. They put the ruler up mm. and he was like, you're on the smaller side. I could literally... What a lovely thing to say. If anyone went up there, they'd be like, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cave. Where's the end? For an eight-person family in here. <laughs> Have you ever thought about housing refugees? <laughs> bloody hell, you've got enough space for it. And the rest. <laughs> Never find the coil again? <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. Anyway, your tiny coil do you is up there coil? somewhere. Yeah. Working wonders. Mm. And you have a period every month. Well, not really. I don't think I'm ovulating at the moment. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You know when you just know, it's just like nothing -y. Are you eating enough? <laughs> okay. Good thing this is crap. <laughs> Babe, I will literally shove your hey, It's what the doctor will ask you <laughs> when you go. When you call the memory doctor, <laughs> he will say... Smell it. So, no, fuck off. It's so good. I don't want cake. Suck a dick. Do you want to talk about the thing that we did on Thursday? I don't know if we can. Oh, Topsy. Oh, well, because Frilly said don't. Frilly said don't. Yeah, babe, do you not read the... <laughs> Wait, where I'm it? actually going to lose it. Babe, you do this all the time. That's not fair, because the amount of times in meetings where you go... You make me very sad. Saturday, what did we talk about? And I think we just had that conversation. Hey, anyway. Guys, everyone's seen it on Instagram anyway. We did a pilot. We did a pilot. For a pornography show. <laughs> and um, it was really good. One thing I will say is I was really scared before. What, get your baps out? And her baps actually were out. I wore the wrong outfit. It was That hilarious. is really good to learn. Hilarious. I think I might wear this. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want it. God, your lips look so juicy. Yeah, it's that. That is the best thing I've ever, ever bought in my life. It's from Hourglass. It's so good. I can't recommend it enough. Hourglass. I don't know what that shade is. Desire? Fred from Desire. <laughs> Did you just feel that wind? That's why we're not driving anywhere, guys, because the Met Office says it's going to be 80 mile an hour winds and it's not safe to drive. Are you serious? Bible. Do you want of... to know what I've written down? Air fryer, rheumatoid, pigeon. <laughs> Brilliant. That'll be the uh, title for today's that. <laughs> That's good. Why is rheumatoid? Oh, I've got rheumatoid arthritis. No, no you don't. Not, no, it's not that. No, it's a disease that starts with R. It's like... Rickets. You, no, babe. You know how, like, my hands always go white when I'm cold? Rheumatitis. <sighs> Raynaud's! Rain got, babe, You know this happens to me. me. No. Yeah, babe, sometimes... Babe, I've never seen that. Babe, sometimes the tips of my fingers... <laughs> 
I've known you a long time now and I've never seen your sometimes, fingers look like no, that. No, not that bad. But sometimes my fingers do go white in the middle of it. Like the other day, it wasn't even that cold and I went to cycle and I got on the bike and honestly, these two fingers, zero sensation. And I thought, oh my effing God, I've got Raynaud's, Raynaud's, whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I only know about it because this influencer posted about it and I thought, oh my God, babe, me and you too. That was like me and my tuberous breasts. It's yeah. so funny what these influencers can tell you about I, yourselves. I know, thank God. Thank God for them. They're geniuses. Pigeon couldn't tell you what that was about. Air fryer, must get an air fryer. I don't know why I've that down. It's very unexciting. Gone off mine a bit. Not gone off it, but I just don't use it as much. But I do love them. I they think are I'm great. the only person in South London that doesn't have an air fryer. I think you're the only person in the UK, babe. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think that's very cool if I'm supposed to be forward thinking and influencing people. I should be like ahead of the trends, not behind the trends. Exactly. How much are you liking award season? I couldn't get over Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. It's PR. Do you think? Are you stupid enough to believe that, babe? You you are their target market. You are a sucker for Timothy Chalamet. I don't think I'm stupid. I think that's strong. I think stupid would be rude to say. Can you see them kissing? Babe, I could kiss anyone if I was being paid for it. No, you couldn't. I could think of so many people you couldn't kiss. Okay, tell me someone and tell me how much and I'll say yes or no. They're not being paid. No agency somewhere is going, I'll pay you to be okay, together. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, fine. I don't understand how that PR works. What I don't understand is that Kylie doesn't need the PR, so why is she doing it? And why is he doing it? Like, I don't know that well, it works. Well, because he's Timothy Chalamet. Sure. And he's not quite on Kylie's level of fame, but he's in Wonka. So I think it was all really nicely, perfect. But he's times. more, like, legit than her. Like, I would give him more clout than Kylie Jenner. Yeah, babe, but I think in Hollywood, everyone, I don't know why, I just think everyone puts him on this pedestal and they think that they need a piece of their fame. I just thought, actually, she looked super out of place at that award ceremony, because oh, everyone else is, like, actually, like, you know. For real, like. For real, for real. Yeah. Fame. Just feels like odd PR. But I guess I'm talking about it so maybe it's working. Do you see what I mean? Mm. And you wouldn't be talking about Timothy Chalamet otherwise. Oh God, I would. I'm you really would be him. talking about Kylie because they're everywhere, but Timothy's not everywhere. That's yeah, that's difference. true. I've actually never watched him in anything. You didn't watch Call Me By Your Name? Nope, I haven't watched that. Wanks into a peach. I'm not the fruit I would choose, but okay, sure. You need to use a banana or a cucumber. Oh. Between a cool jet and a cucumber, who cares? I think Phallic. a cucumber would be better because it cool it down a bit and it would, you know, give you a nice cooling sensation. A cool jet wouldn't do anything for you. You could put a courgette in the fridge, babe. Not the same. Okay. She went to an all-girls school, so she knows. Didn't you all used to use weird things to mask me? Yeah. That's what we all used to say about all-girls schools. So unoriginal. That you used to all just, like, wank with each other's hairbrushes or whatever. Yeah. Toothbrushes, door handles. <laughs> Why was the door handle thing a yeah, thing? Yeah, as if we are all mounted to the door, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm just almost there. Just one minute, matron. Give me a second. I'm almost done. As if. People are so thick to believe that. My God. Someone once in an all-girls school must have taken their yeah, door handle off and used it. Yeah, and that's once. why the yeah, story yeah. exists. And we've all been painted with the same brush. Also, I can actually imagine like a brass handle is probably quite a nice sensation. Babe, it's covered in bacteria. I would not put that up my knee. No. The, you might rub against it though. You know, like when I was younger, I used to use the metal poles on my bunk bed. You should kind of like grind against it. I'm sorry. That is... Don't say you never did that. Never in my life. Hand on my heart cross my heart hope to die swear on my dead grandfather's grave never did that i don't like the cold sensation anyway i hate the cold <laughs> that would actually make my clitoris shrivel up not come out to play <laughs> it would shrivel up like a like a rotten grape or something <laughs> oh. <laughs> anything else no that's it for me any more for any more no got nothing else to say to you everyone thinks we're proposed he didn't um <laughs> Twice now, because I wore a white dress and because of that thing. Did they speak about that? Everyone came up to me and was like, oh my God, I legit thought this was a surprise engagement party because you're wearing white. And I was like, oh, guys, sorry, does anyone here know me? Do you want to know what the girlies are asking you about? Oh, sorry, me yeah. And you. Babe? Yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's wrong? What do you mean? Come on. What do you mean, what's wrong? You're being spiky. <laughs> no, I'm just looking at this. <laughs> are you being annoying? It's working. People always ask us about careers, but I just think like we're just really just figuring it out. Guys, do people think we have any idea about anything? We don't have a career, I don't number one. Why people would think that we're people to ask those questions to. We just don't know. I would just say take every opportunity you can and you know. I would say it's trial and error. Trial and error. Try a bit of everything. Put cross, your hat in the ring. Cross out the things that you hate. And yeah. maybe there'll be something left that you love. Don't be embarrassed to send your CV off to anyone and everyone. So do I don't things know. things that you're good at? Play to your strengths? Yes. Get good at selling yourself. Also, don't be too truthful. 
about this. We were talking about it in the car. It's okay to fib. It's okay to tell little white lies in an interview. It's okay to expect it. If it means you're going to secure the job. Exactly. Yeah. So don't worry about careers, basically. Well, mm, do worry if it's something that you care about. It depends what kind of person you are. Because some people just don't care and that's fine. Like, live your best life, go travelling for the rest of your life. Who cares? But if it's something that you do care about, I think when you're in your young 20s, who cares? Like, seriously, who gives a shit? Yeah, I did the randomest jobs yeah. and, like, I didn't love them, but, like, I was just figuring it out. Yeah, just do whatever you need to do. And I think as you get a bit older, take actual time out to think about what do I want to do with the rest of my life? Because I had that in COVID. Mm. People our age actually did have a bit of a blessing mm. because it forced you to think about what am I going to do? Yeah. Because I had a job, I was working in PR and I kind of liked it because the social side was really good. I just left uni. It was like a really good way of meeting people. It was routine. It was like a regular income. Obviously, I thought I'm going to be on the hamster wheel because I'm never going to get off and, you know, you get promoted X, Y, Z. COVID really forced me to think. If I take away all the fluff, which is the social stuff, do I actually like this work? I hated it. Force yourself to do that because otherwise I just think people then get to 30 and think, I actually hate my job. Yeah, and you don't want to hate your job because it is such a big proportion of your life. I, have you seen those graphs? It's like the amount of time that you spend at work is like more than you will spend with your parents, your yeah. partner, your children. It's the same as school. I used to always think that about school. Yeah. I'm always here. Yeah. <laughs> it's my whole life. Yeah, it is your whole life. So make sure that it's something that you actually want to get up for. What a miserable existence every day to get up and think, I hate this. I don't want to be here. No. It's not life. Also, don't take for granted loving your job. Like if you're totally. loving your job, but you're thinking, oh, should I do more? Should I do different? Like loving your job is a really hard thing to find. I think it's actually essential to having a, a happy life. I actually really do believe that. Yeah, I think you need to love your job. Totally. And that, that that can be anything. Yeah. It can be doing anything, yeah. but just find something you love to do. Totally. Okay, good. Well done. You're very, very wise. You're like a wise old... Babe, I just turned 28. I don't owl. know if you know I'm actually now the oracle. You're old. When to know if an old friend should be left in the past? If you are already thinking about it, you know. Yeah. Sorry, if you're asking us that question, I think that you know the answer, babe, and I know that it's a bit scary to accept the answer, but I don't think that you know. So hard, but sometimes also, like, it doesn't have to be bad blood. Sometimes it's just a drifting. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fall. Do you want it to never be a fallout? Yeah, because fallouts are just nasty, to just horrible. Do your own thing. And live your yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Okay, dealing with a lack of motivation, really struggling to get shit done. Aren't we oh, it's all? so hard. I think you just have to accept that sometimes motivation. Someone used this analogy once that motivation is like a dimmer switch. It's not on or off. It's like on a scale of brightness and dimness. Yeah. And like sometimes it's super bright and you've just got to ride that wave. And sometimes it's dimmer. It doesn't mean you're doing nothing. It just means you don't quite have the same momentum. I've read this thing as well that said it's not about motivation it's about consistency because you can't be motivated every single goddamn day of your life but you can't show up every single day yeah the more you do something the more it becomes a habit mm. consistency trumps motivation every time i really do believe that yeah. you're not going to have motivation but also just a tiny caveat to that okay. there's ways to be consistent without making you hate something so the gym is actually a really good example in that if you can't run a 5k walk for 45 minutes yes so you're still showing up for yourself and you're still carving out your time but you're doing it in a way that today you feel you can do if you can't clean your whole house clean your bedroom there's ways to also find like iterations of consistency there's so many we love you. We don't understand why everyone thinks that we have any, any idea what the hell we're, we're talking about. Oh, God, babe. Met office ones don't sleep near windows. Sod off. No, babe. With 85 mile an hour winds, if your window shatters onto your bed, babe, that's not a joke. <laughs> and my windows are thin. They're not even double glazed. I love when you're serious. No, mine aren't either. I do just think sometimes the Met not. office do these really scary things and then everyone's like scared to be by their window. <laughs> And it's like, okay, but... I don't want to be morbid, but you just want to take precautions. Sure, so what are you going to do Imagine then? Imagine because... if you did get impaled by... What am I going to do, though, not sleep in my bedroom? Because I'm in an attic room well, and you're, I've got you're safe, new locked actually. windows. No, you're safe. Something could fall from the sky. No, babe, you're quite safe because that little piece of fabric will keep you safe. <laughs> That doesn't pull down the whole way. Brilliant. Oh, God. What if it gets through that and impales through your heart? Well, then that'll be us done for. Everyone is asking about Love Island. One thing I will say is the fact that they all know each other at first I thought was genius no, and now I think is boring. It's like going to a social with all your friends. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. Like, and also, I think it makes them more reserved. It's kind of like I could slide in your DMs if I yes, needed to. Yes, or yes, I already yes, have. Yes. Or I've seen you at that I'm event really and something sorry weird to happened. Make this comparison, but it is a bit like boarding school where everyone knows everyone. And you yeah. go to the same parties all the time time and everyone's hooking up with the same people but it's even weirder because they're all like these elite perfect people it's just weird it's just a weird vibe i'm sorry i have to fart no get out the no. car no is sound. it gonna smell <laughs> probs probs just shit my pants <laughs> 
God's sake. How many piercings do you have? Nine. Ten on your clip. <laughs> <laughs> 12. And her belly. 13. Babe, I think you should stop now. <laughs> <laughs> mean girls, you're an expert on this one, because you are one. How to be a mean girl. <laughs> Let me give you the guidebook. <laughs> how to deal uh, with them. How to deal with them. Everyone can be mean, but it all comes from a place of insecurity. Especially when you're at school, it's a power thing. See, I know some people would say, stand up to them. I just think don't even give them oxygen to breathe. Yeah, just don't, don't engage. People do it for a reaction and don't give them the reaction, because they'll just get bored. It's hard at school because you can't really like you leave. Can't it's, it's you can't never escape. You can't leave. I always used to think that with school, like you're in it, like you're so in it, and it's so hard. I think you just have to try and like find the people you love, protect each other, and get it doesn't through matter it. Doesn't if there are only three of you. you yeah, need three, three friends. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. We had you a tiny little gang by the end of yeah, school you because don't we need were like to be Miss Popular with a hundred no. friends. No way, babe. I am not a mean girl. No, it was only because you said it last week. Like, did I? What did I say? You said about you being a bitch. <laughs> Because <laughs> you were like, oh, sometimes I can be a bitch and I can be mean. Oh, yeah, because it just comes out. Yeah. yeah. You said it, not me, sister. <laughs> you said it. It's a defense mechanism for me, really. Yeah, I get that. I don't know what my defense mechanism is. Just going into Cry. my shell, probably, and sobbing. Yeah, I think yours like is. Like a wet wipe. Okay, snog, marry, kill to finish. Okay, oh, we haven't done, we didn't do this for a while. I've got a good one for you. Okay. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Vicky McClure. Ross from The Traitors. Kill Ross. Really? Shag Vicky. Really? Marry Timothy Chalamet. Really? There's a lot I'm confused by. He's a movie star. He knows everyone we need to know. <laughs> She's always end game thinking, this yeah. girl. She's not stupid. Um, Nothing in your life is not strategical. No, that is one thing that is true. Every Why with Raw? <laughs> Joking! I'm not joking. If you have an answer to that question, you just let me know. Because <laughs> well, I was racking my brain. I no. was thinking it's not the height. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not a movie star. So. Okay, I'll tell you the good thing. The only strategic thing about Raw, I will get my house for free. That's it. And all I knew of my there was building something. and my Wilkin wardrobe, all of that will come to me for free. And you love him. Well, that's kind of by the by. <laughs> <laughs> I can love anyone. <laughs> Right, I could love anyone <laughs> in Hollywood, basically. Vicky McClure's the shag, is yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, she's fit. She is fit, really but hot. only if she had short hair. Love you, Vicky. Love you so much. <laughs> but I think you just look better in short hair. Yeah. And not very many people look better in that That's short of hair. That's the thing. Girl. Shag, marry, kill. Harry from The Traitors. Lewis from Love Island with the fake teeth. Demi from Love Island. Okay, Oh. okay. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna kill Lewis. Duh. Marry Harry. No, yeah. shag Harry, marry Demi. Really? I think me and Demi will just have a nice time together. Harry be a good shag, but he's a child. I can't marry him. It's probably illegal. And Lewis just is such it's bad vibes. Disgusting. Yeah. He gives me the ick on another level. But like, it's not even the ick. I just think like, oh, I wouldn't feel like safe and nice with you. I'm not creating a home with you. You could shag him. He'd feel like a stranger in your house, even if you knew him for years. Yeah, you know those people. Yes, I exactly. But you'll know. never get to know him. Yes. Ever. Yeah. What are you trying to cover up? I just like the look. What a bank robber. <laughs> yeah. Really? You look like the guy that mugged me. Really? Yeah. Well, he was quite good looking then. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want me he to was look really like the bank robber, Okay. Just look famous for a second. I don't think I can, even if I tried. <laughs> Okay, bye guys, we love you so love much. Love you! Sorry we didn't answer all your questions and sorry that the answers we gave were so bang average. If anything, we're bang average. That should be the title of this I episode. think we're bang, bang. I think oh, we are... Absolutely bang average. I think we're actually just a tiny bit below average. But I think that's what you like about us, you cheeky little chickens. Why do you always do that, like, sexy boy? I don't really know. <laughs> Got no one else to be sexy with but this GoPro. So, cheek, cheek, cheeks.